Today, we're going to discuss differentiators. Okay, so now you have some basic product or service descriptions down on your spreadsheet, but you don't have much else. You need to begin filling in some blanks. Focus first on what I call the differentiators. Every new business must differentiate itself from the others out there in some way. That is a necessary but not sufficient condition to success. Again, stated more clearly, when you introduce your product or service-based business to the world, you need to focus on showing them how you are different than other similar products or services that are already in the marketplace. It might be your price, or perhaps it is the quality of your product versus others. It might be even the speed of your service. A good friend of mine has a boat company and they specialize in providing carbon fiber hulls versus old school fiberglass. Get the idea? Write down your differentiators on your spreadsheet and make sure that these are always the marketing focus on your effort. My new Pure Hypnotics product is going to be differentiated by the guaranteed quality of the product by the fact that we will carry the full range of CBD infused products, not just pills or an elixir, by the fact that we have a process which we call micelle, which makes our water soluble version of CBD almost totally bioavailable. Again, the logical place to compete is price, but I'm not going to compete on price because in the world of CBD, when you start to sacrifice price, quality goes down where you are working with a critically important ingredient like CBD, then quality means everything. You should practice speaking with others about your business and you will find that as you do that, your own differentiators will be determined. You don't have to spill that spreadsheet out all in one sitting. Eventually, you're going to get around to the price column in the spreadsheet and that is a key element in any business. You must price your product or service properly so that the public buys and so that you are around in a future for them to buy from. Too expensive, they won't buy. And too cheap, you will go out of business selling your product. Although a lot of business articles tell you not to be afraid to undercut the current price structure out there, because once you get started, you can raise the price, I think that authors will tell you that they have never really run their own businesses. One of the hardest things to do is to start out with low prices and then raise them as you go. It's always easier to lower your prices than to raise them. A good strategy sometimes is to study the market and decide the price points that make sense for your business and then have the confidence to enter the business world with those price points. You do have a fallback here in that you are meeting price resistance at the start because you are in fact new. You can offer something like a grand opening special on pricing and you can get people to your product and they can realize the worth of it. The bottom line is that very few businesses open up with products or services that the world has never ever seen before. So it's important up front that you show your potential customers how your business is different from others that are currently out there being successful.